Hey guys, welcome back to another live video. So today we are actually having a deck profile, and it is of my friend Ryan's Bujin deck. So just hop right back in into it. All right, we are playing three Bujin Yamatos. <gasps> no way. Right. <laughs> Two Mikazuchis. Yep. Standard. Yep, this is just pretty much standard. Three cranes, mm -hmm. two hares, mm -hmm. two turtles, mm -hmm. one quillin. That's it for the Bujins. I tested Centipede. Centipede was ass. Um, I play one Ray Treno. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love Spanish. Thunder King, that's why I picked it up. One Honest. And that's the monster lineup. Yep. Standard Bujin lineup. Yep. Three MSTs. Mm -hmm. Three Dualities. Yes, sir. Three Tankies. Good. Two Bujin Carnations. Mm-hmm. Two Kaisers. Okay. Two Lances. Mm-hmm. And one Book. No Dark Hole? Nope. And I actually regretted not having that for Mesa. Because, <laughs> oh. I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I main deck it. If I don't need it, I'll take it out. But I'd rather have it in there. I didn't need it. That's the, that's the thing. And then I versed, like, one deck, and it kicked my ass. And I'm like, ah. All right, for the traps, I have three chains. Three chains. All right, and this is where it gets interesting uh, after these. One warning, one compulse. Mm -hmm. I play one wiretap. Oh. This did work. Um, I've also seen people, other people use it. it that, theirs did work. It especially sucked when you hit warning and you're the one playing warning. Yeah, because then you pay the 2,000 and it goes back to the deck. Right. You might not have that 2,000 when you get it back later. The other card's like Bottomless and Toronto. That's kind of... or Compulse. Yeah. One black, one heaven. Mm. <laughs> I ran... I didn't have enough... I actually had space. I didn't know what to put in. So I said, screw it. One black, one. And this put in so much work game one. Everyone looked at... Uh, the guy that, or the people at Averse looked at me and they were like, you you can't be serious. I'm like, I... Yeah. This just happened. <laughs> And then two Divine Wraths. Self-explanatory. These are pretty much broken in Bujins. There's no downside of them. You can throw a Bujin G, negate an effect. This hits anywhere. It doesn't target. It stops pretty much any effect. Even during damage step, after damage step, in the middle of damage calculation, whatever triggers, this stops it. It's just too, it's too, it was too good. It did a lot of work. Now for the extra deck, two Bujinte Susanoas, pretty much the best freaking thing in the deck. One Bujinte Kagatsuche, he was okay, maybe we played him once or twice, never played him. <laughs> God, I took him out, that's a god. Yeah, it was just for the option, I played him and that shit was funny. Rolled a three and a five. <laughs> wow, it's just for the skill drain. One arc. Yep, 101. One Exiton, mm -hmm. made him against Spellbooks and ruined him. Good. One Omega, never played it, but it was good on hand just in case. Mm -hmm. One My Stroke, played it twice. That's a surprise. <laughs> it actually surprised me too that he even lived as long as he did. One Heartland Draco. Yeah, we already have a video discussing him. Black Ship, never played it. Mm -hmm. Tiger King, never played it. <laughs> Dweller, never played it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Polydynamo, never played it. <laughs> Cowboy. Once. Oh, he did his job, then. The bang, bang, skeet, skeet, GG. Actually, I wish that was the case. You, you didn't even bang, bang, skeet, skeet, GG. No, nope, I had to use him to run something over. What the hell did you run over? <laughs> what the hell did you run over that you couldn't take with 101? It wasn't, because he tributed. He, it, Montage what? Dragon. What the fuck? I, this was my first game. I'm like... <laughs> I have nothing to really get over this, and it, well, because see, the thing is, I knew what his back row was, and uh, and he was waiting for the one one but the cowboy, he he just like, oh, it's cowboy, and he let it through. No, oh, okay, because he didn't know. He, yeah, no, and he ditched it. Did he ditched some crappy dragons, and I'm just like, cowboy swing over. <laughs> yeah, I know mean, that's pretty smart because if you were to win the one one, he definitely. He, I, I I knew I knew what his back row was because he. Uh, duality the turn before and the dynamo and the arc would have not have done anything. Mm. I forgot what it was, but he let the cow he let the cowboy do something, which didn't make any sense. Like if you're gonna put cowboy in attack, I'd laugh? Okay, sure. Uh sideboard. Where's my sideboard? This is where a lot of the work came in. Uh for the sideboard, two anti spell fragrance. Fuck spell books. 
Oh, this laughed at spellbooks. The dude was pissed that he couldn't use fate on my turn. I had two prohibitions. Oh, what'd you call? Uh, I used them. I used one against. I used them in spellbook against spellbooks. And what was the other deck? I know I ruined it. No, it was. I used this against gravekeepers, wow. Necro Valley and Spy. Wow. All and right. against spellbooks, Tower because his fate was in grave, and he already blew up one tower and secrets. Wow. Yeah, he was pretty much hindered from there. His world was the only issue. Uh, the other Black Horn of Heaven. No, that's that one. Uh, two debunks. Okay. Beautiful side card. One twister. Is that for the the extra the, MST? That basically. MST. Yeah, the, the this hit light and prison gear so hard. Don't need it. Too situational. Yeah, especially with Bujins. Uh, one system down. Mm -hmm. Worked. Yeah, right. <laughs> it went through. The, that shit was funny. And two decrees. Mm -hmm. Didn't he? I think I only used it once. Swords. Noble Scrubs and Mirror Match. This shit was awesome. Actually, I think I... What else did I play? I played this against... Uh, Gears. I, I played it against Gears. I still lost that match, but it was pretty good. And two Dinas. Did a lot of work. A lot of work? A lot of work. This format's like Dina-friendly. Did, did you just lock it down by summoning it, or did he flip up and just... Um, game... Three on gears. I set it, and he ran into it. <laughs> and he had like four guys. He st I, all the it, it for, yeah, but he soul charged it all back. So I'm oh like, my god! I'm like wonderful. And then the other time I used it, it was against mermails. And you did you just summon him and lock it out? They well, I they he missed time. He he didn't even activate his own marksman. Oh, okay. This was the only thing phase down. He ditched the infantry and a marksman just so he can salvage him back. But he didn't activate the effect, and I'm like, R really? Okay. And then he ran into it and lost his whole field. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was Mr. Ryan's deck profile with Boogins. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all support. And I will see you guys next time with another live video. Thanks for watching.